Hey guys, it's me, Army of War. I have three PD triggers, two monitors for monitoring like how many watts and amps go through it, and my Zendir 30 watt PD charger that I had for a good minute, which has been treating me very nicely. So we're gonna try to charge our Omni charge and see what this Omni charge start pulling when I start upping the voltage. All right, so let's hook up one of these monitors, which I have a Power Z monitor to the PD trigger and this is coming from the battery into the monitor all right I'm gonna put that down to the side right quick all right put these triggers right there and we're gonna start up our Omni charge and as you see I drain this Omni charge just down to like 3% which is good because then you can see what the battery is going to pull from this PD trigger now I only have 30 watts to play with let's see if it maxes our battery out all right, I'm getting this shot. If you hear the air conditioning in the background, I'm sorry, it was hot today. All right. All right, just plugged it in. All right, Omnichar is trying to figure out where it wants to be. All right, it looks like Omnicharge is accepting the charge and is upping the watts. All right, it maxes out at 10 watts. All right, let me get this angle. All right. So for four, <clears throat> so for four watts, Five watts and it leveraged out at least 11 watts which is pretty cool all right let's switch it from the next voltage which is nine volts let's see what omni charge is going to do here which is kind of great because now that i can bring my omni charge with me now because i got a, a usb type c to barrel jack which is pretty cool now i can start using my omni jack again i don't have to worry about carrying that big bulky uh charger that it comes with All right, it looks like it's taking more amperage. All right, let's restart it because sometimes it likes to be finicky. All right, let's try that again. And this is a nine volt input. Just waiting for the Omni charge to accept the charge. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's getting near its limit. It's definitely getting near its limit. It's pulling 25 watts, eight volts, 2.9 amps. Oh yeah, that Zender battery is definitely living to its 30 watt claims. All right, and we're gonna push it a little bit higher. I think 12 volts is its max for my Zender battery. All right, 25 watts, let's pull that out. Let's go to 12 volts. We're gonna plug that back into our Omni charge. Wait for it to accept the charge. Now, if you do wanna see future videos for me doing the projects on these PD triggers, I will be making uh, a variable power supply for it. It's a downstep power supply so you can get an accurate voltage and uh, amperage setting. Ooh, it's pulling around 35 watts, which is interesting because my battery pack can only handle 30 watts. Maybe that's its maximum before it clips and turns off. But I'm actually interested on how long this is gonna last. I would like to run the video until it like burns out or something, but my Zender battery is definitely living up to its type C 30 watt charge. If you want to see more videos of the PD trigger, drop a like in the comment section below. All right, guys. See you later.